Hi there. I'm going to be demonstrating on how to use the multi-SIM to simulate the potentiometer lab without load and with load. Okay. So over here we have the potentiometer, a practical one, right? So sometimes your lecturers might have labeled it as one, two, three, or as per how the image over here is in, in the alphabetical manner, right? So you can see I have labeled this as A, and then this is C and B. So you can see that A and B, you can either connect your power supply in the positive or negative terminal, right? Depending on how you want to uh, measure it. And your C is the variable where it'll determine whether your BC is going to be the higher side or the AC is going to be the higher side, right? So right now, let's go into the simulation side. Okay. So the simulation side is that you need these several components to do your simulation, right? So you'll need a potentiometer of 10 kilo ohms, a load resistor of 10 kilo ohms, a power supply, well, we'll set it at 5 volts, a ground, all right, and multimeters to show your voltage or your resistance value, right? So now let's go into multi-sim. All right. So now in order for you to get the components, so you hover over over here, you can see that you there'll be a place indicator, right? So you click on it and there'll be a pop-up here. So you can see, select a component. So you can go and select com components. Now, another way to get this is that you press Control W. Okay, so once you press Control W, this again pops up. So now, make sure you're in the ma master database, all right? And then you click on the group here and you select basic. So you select basic and we need a potentiometer, right? So you see you have many options, but we want a 10 kilo. So 10K, click OK, drop it. Now, this is the only thing we want to begin with, right? Let's set this as 0%. Okay, now let's flip this in order to follow up with the image over here, right? Since this is pointing the pins on the right side. So what you're going to do is that you can con uh, alternate X, right? So now we go with what we are going to do next, right? We are going to actually measure the resistance coming from the potentiometer, right? So, okay, you can put your multimeter straight like this, or you can put it slanting. It doesn't matter, right? But I'm going to rotate it. So, Control R, and I'm rotated it. So, connect here, and this one goes in the middle, right? Because it's a variable. This is the variable pin, and this can be your pin A, and this can be your pin C. Right now, this is to measure like the top resistance, and this will be the bottom. So, over here, I have a diagram. All right, so this is without load, and this is with load. Right, the, the two experiments that we're going to simulate now without load. Okay, you can see that this is the representation of the potential meter. Right, so A to C, I'm just uh, estimating of five kilo ohms and C to B. So these are actually the representation of the potentiometer A, C, and B, right? The pins, A, C, and B. So over here, we're going to do the same thing where we're going to put another one more multimeter at the bottom, right? To see the change in the value of the resistance for the potentiometer. So right now, this is a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer at 0%, meaning that the top part of your multimeter, right, is going to be at a higher value, right? So right now you don't see any value because your multimeter is set at voltage. You need to change it to resistance, right? We just want to view the resistance value. So right now, yeah, it will show on the higher side, this is at 10 kilo ohms, right? And the bottom side, it's 0 0.001. So we can neglect this value because, yeah, it's at 0%. So over here, you can see, right, key A. Key equals to A. This actually means is that we can increase the percentage of the potentiometer just by pressing the A button, right? So if I press A, so you see 5%. So at 5%, the top one is at 9.5K and 500 ohms, right? So you can keep increasing all the way to 100%. And you'll see the bottom side will have 10K and the other side will have 0 ohms, okay? So now this is how exactly you do the connections to view your resistance, all right? So let's stop this, all right? Now let's connect it with a supply. So I'm going to leave this here, all right? 
uh, I'll just probably copy it and just add a supply. Sorry. Not copy and paste. Yeah. Now, over here you can see that, okay, let me just. Okay, so I'll change it back to zero for this. Now I'm going to be adding a supply. So to add a supply, we need to go back to our place indicator. So control W again. Now, this basic here is more on the component side. So we need to go to the source, right? So you can see power sources and everything off. So we're going to go for power sources and we're going to go for DC power, right? So click OK, drop it. Now close this. Oh, we nearly forgot one more thing. We forgot a ground, right? So control W again, and let's click a ground, right? You can also go for digital ground or ground. It doesn't matter. Put it here, close it. Now let's just simulate, right? Do the connections first, okay? Now don't forget to change the value of your supply. So double click on the supply and change it to 5 volts. Now, before we run, remember, right, since we copied from here, the multimeter, so the multimeter is actually in ohm, so you need to change it to volt, and same goes for this volt, right? So now, you can see that, okay, let me put it here. Right, so both of these potentiometer are using the same, uh, how to say, key, right? So right now, okay, let me just try to adjust this to zero. Sorry. Yeah, okay, now it's good. So when I'm changing the, when I'm pressing the key, but key button A, right? So it's going to be changing top and bottom. Okay. So let's run and see. So you see, on the top side, since 10 kilo ohms is passing there, there'll be five volts there, right? So when I increase, so you see, there'll be change in the voltage value. Straight away, you can actually view the change in resistance and also the voltage reading. You can get your results. So to say that over here, right, in your XMM3, 3.75 volts, it is actually at 7.5 kilo ohms. So you can perform your calculations, right? So now let's say if I go for 5K, 5K, right? As per calculations that I've done here, so you can see, since R1 is 5K, R2 is 5K, right? This is representing the potentiometer. So now, if I want to vo uh, measure the voltage at VCB, right, point VCB, which is at the bottom side, so I'll be taking R2 value, the resistor, divided by the total resistance, which is R1 plus R2, multiplied by the VAB voltage. The VAB voltage here is our 5 volts, our power supply, right? So we'll get 5 divided by 10 kilo ohms, right, because R1 plus R2 is actually our 10 kilo ohms potentiometer times 5 volts. So you should get 2.5. So do you get 2.5? Yes, you do get 2.5. Alright, so that is actually how you do the first part of your lab, which is the without load potentiometer. Right? Now, with load, with load is actually pretty straightforward as well. So we're just going to add a, another resistor. Right? At where do we add the resistor? As you can see, right, it is con connected at the point of the variable, which is C, to the ground, where our ground is actually point B, right? So it's going to be connected over here. So right now, what we'll do is that uh, we'll let this be, all right? Let me stop this. Okay. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to be doing another one more design just here, right? Sorry. A new schematic, right? Yeah, so it'll be in design two. So what I'll do, I just, again, I'll just copy from here, okay? And I'll bring it over here. Okay, 
let me just yeah close all of this yeah and track it a little bit bottom now so since everything is similar as the without load right so what's going to happen is that now we're going to be adding a resistor right over here okay so let's highlight the connections of the wires and delete press the D, uh, del key keyboard right so same goes over here delete now we're going to bring in the resistor 10 kilo so control w right basics resistors 10k click ok drop it so now this is our 10k right so in order for it to look similar to our diagram so you just control r right so this part is connected here and this is going to be connected here here to here okay at times right when it doesn't show yeah just adjust your wires a bit messy on the wires so yep okay now just connect that yeah so this is exactly similar to how it is right okay wait, let me see if it's the matter So same resistor, same position, right? Okay, what's going to happen is I'm going to drag this a little bit bottom to, you know, prevent any mishaps. Okay, so what happens is that it can connect, right? So what's gonna happen is that I'm connecting here and here, that's all. Yep, okay, sorry about that. Okay, so now we are done. We, it looks exactly as how the image is depicted here. So let me scroll on a little bit. So you can see, this is how the connection is. Our potential meter on AC is going to be at 5K, and then CB again at 5K, and it's parallel to a 10 kilo ohm. All right. So before we simulate, I'm just going to run through here. So you can see that since now, our 5 kilo ohm is parallel to 10K. All right. So the total resistance of your potential meter in general will change. right? Because since this is parallel to this, you need to calculate the total resistance over here and you add it in series to this right because right now this is in parallel so once you complete the parallel you add them in series you will get your new total resistance of the circuit right so rcb is actually r2 times r3 over r2 plus r3 where you get the value to be 3.333 kilo ohm right and then you add it with the r1 to get the R total. So it's actually the total resistance now is 8.333 kilo ohm. All right. So now I want to measure, sorry, I want to calculate the VCB for this, right? For point C to B, right? So VCB actually you're taking the resistance of RCB divided by the total resistance, which is R1 plus RCB, right? And multiplied with the supply voltage, which is VAB, our 5 volts okay so you will get 2 volts right so calculation we got 2 volts so now let's see in our simulation right so let me move this back to 0 as well so that we can eventually reach to that 5 kilo ohm uh, area right so double click this to view our potentiometer value of the resistors on each side now this is the voltage and this is the voltage for the bottom okay so this is our uh, VAC and this is our VCB 
right? So run. So over here also is the same thing. We are going to use the key A to go to 50% since our bottom and the top resistor AC and CB is 5K, 5K, all right? And the R3 is fixed at 10K. So right now, K. So it's already running. So now let's push it to where it's supposed to be. So right now it's still at 8.5. We need to go to 5K. And there we go. So over here we have 5 kilo ohm, right? So once we reach 5 kilo ohm, our total resistance at this point here is 3.333K, right? We've already calculated here. So that is exactly what we got in our calculation side and also in our simulation side. And then now we go to the voltage value for VCB. So VCB, we got two volts, right? So you see, we got exactly how we calculated. So that is how actually you simulate using multi-SIM for the potentiometer lab without load and with load. Thank you.